I started playing volleyball when I was 12, 13. My neighbor actually introduced me to volleyball. I mean, volleyball is a very popular sport in my country, so a lot of kids is is trying to play it and national team is really good so girls are especially like we all want to be volleyball players. At that time I wasn't really into it but uh, there was this camp going on uh, near my house and my neighbor um, just suggested it to me and I went and I really like it so I stick to it. When coach recruited me in the first place he knew that program in Brownsville is just going to go for one year so I was prepared for that and I knew that I'm going to stay there for one year and after that go um, with him wherever he decided to go. He decided to come here, right? With all the merger and stuff that happened, the team changed also, so he brought me and Tina and they recruited some new girls. It was hard to push people, it was hard to push myself, you know, like I had to be good every day and he used to say in practice, since we don't have a winning team, at least we're going to be in shape and I'm never going to forget that season because we ran so much and we were conditioning a lot. But all that taught us a lot and I think it taught us to appreciate um, how important it is to like push every day and try to get the energy out of other people around you. To be honest, I was way too excited to come to D1 and come to this level because uh, NAIA was challenging by the end of the year but our conference wasn't very good so I think this conference is very competitive and each team has something to offer and it's easy to play with passion because of the people you're surrounded with as my teammates like we we are a team that plays with passion and once we lose that we lose the games so I think this level is all about that like how bad you want it and you always have to want it a little bit more than the other team wants it. Since I've been here for three years, I have a lot of memories. Definitely my favorite memory is um, when we won the championship last year. Um, just by remembering that I have goosebumps every time, it's this amazing feeling of how far we came from day one when we like, came to this school. Coming into this program, I was a player that wanted to hit every ball and I'm still trying to develop those different shots and I listen to my coaches every day bragging about it that I need to do it because conference expects me to hit the ball so the big things I changed and that's one of the reasons I have the numbers I have but I also think that um, having better teammates around me helps me be a better player so everything that other people are doing in a court it makes me look good also you know the situations they're putting me in is just helping me score more so other than that, I think this year um, I'm kind of a little bit better with injuries considering that last year I wasn't very lucky, unfortunately, but I still managed it to get back on the court and do the best that, the best that I could at the moment. But I think this year um, sometimes I forget of how tough it was last year and sometimes I don't appreciate the fact that I'm actually on the court and that I actually have opportunity to get those skills and get those blocks. And, the blessing is that it's my senior year and what I do now it's what it's done and it makes me happy but it also makes me sad. The game is different. Um, it took me a while to get used to it, to get used to this crazy defense America plays, to get used to the fact that Libero is serving, to get used to the fact that I can play the ball if it fits the ceiling. Um, just the way teammates treat each other, uh, that's, that's a big difference here and back home. It's rarely that you find a team that really works as a team. Whereas in America, that's one big aspect that coaches are putting out there. One advice that I will give for new generations and for my team is just to start from themselves and to set the example for what is coming, but also for what is happening right now. If you want to really want to succeed, you have to be on the same page with everyone and everyone has to push the same way and everyone has to work hard the same way and everyone wants to want it the way you want it and to actually have fun on the court I think that's a big one um, because we spend so much time being around each other and we spend so much time playing this sport that it would be just sad not enjoy it there's always those ups and downs that I feel like they test you if you're gonna break or you're gonna succeed and so far, we've been doing a great job of succeeding, so everything happens for a reason, and I 
I really hope that this is just gonna make us stronger and, and just bring us another title.